Well, hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to be covering a brand new purchase that I made. The NZXT C1200 Gold PSU. This is meant to replace my existing Thermaltake GF A3 1200 watt PSU that's meant to be part of my new super editing rig build, which has been somewhat on the shelf for quite a while now. If you've been watching my videos, you'll see I've been trying to make sure that we get past the problems with the Intel i9 14th gen that occurred and causing those CPUs to degrade. Not sure if we're past it entirely yet. I heard rumors that there's yet another firmware coming, but that's okay. I probably won't go live on it, even though I may build it, until after that firmware has been released and I've installed it. What I've done by this purchase here of the NZXT PSU is I'm trying to address the other issue that's been occurring. And this one is with my NVIDIA 4090 Founders Edition, which is using the existing cable that NVIDIA came up with, the 16 pin connector that has eight power pins um, and it has four sense pins in order to get the level of power that that particular GPU requires. Now, is it fixed? I don't know. I don't want to get into that debate. All I know is that the standard changed from ATX 3.0, which is what the thermal take has, over to the ATX 3.1 standard, which is the NZXT. Okay. Now, it's an attempt by uh, various manufacturers to go in the right direction to try to resolve the issue. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and put all my eggs in the same basket, right? I don't want to take the chance. Didn't cost that much, so I figured I'd go ahead and purchase this and use it instead of the thermal take in the final build of that new editing rig. Now, what comes with it? If we open it up, bag of cables. They like the color purple. I think the thermal take was black, but that's irrelevant. If I open this up, I'll take a look. Let me see if I can quickly find that cable that's uh, at the heart of the issue. Oh, and I got lucky. There it is right there. This is that 16-pin cable. It has, like I said, 12 of these power cables, which is six positive and six ground, and it has four sense pins. So they're done in, in groups of uh, the power pins divided by four so that they can get enough power through each of the sections. The standard that is ATX 3.1 actually is changing this cable quite a bit. I compared the two and you can actually physically see that the newer one, the 3.1, has actually shorter connectors to it. And I'll go through the specs and you can see and I'll explain exactly what that does and why they did it that way. Again, it's just an attempt to solve the issue. Whether it does or not is yet to be seen. Okay, the power supply itself is pretty much the same as the thermal tank. If I open it up, you'll see it has all of the connectors that are for the, the various cables, right? It's a fully modular, they both are. And uh, they're the same number of connectors of different types. So we have the same two for CPU, we have uh, three for GPU, that's the non 16 pin version that is. It has the motherboard, it has peripherals, all the same. The only thing that I found different when I looked at it was that there's a cable that's not included with the NZXT and that's that little adapter cable, probably about six, seven inches long, that converts one of the standard IO connectors, the traditional ones, into a 3.5 floppy connector. I don't even think you can buy those things anymore, so that's probably not needed. I haven't used one in quite a number of years, so you know it's nothing I'm going to complain about that they don't they didn't include the cable. Hopefully they dropped the price by you know at least a few cents in order for me to uh, to, to save something on it, but you never know. All the rest of the cables are exactly the same, and. Uh, Even the thickness of the power cable is exactly the same. So it's got the same current capability from the power cable as well. So there's really not that much of a difference. As I said, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, let's move on and go into the details of the ATX 3.1. 
First, the electrical changes to PSU logic circuitry. There is a shorter hold-up time of 12 milliseconds as compared to the ATX 3.0's 17 milliseconds. This provides a small improvement in the PSU's efficiency. Specifically, hold-up time refers to how long a PSU can maintain stable power output after an interruption of the input voltage. The reduced hold-up time does not mean that the standard was downgraded, since the actual time depends on both the specifications and the actual test data used during a product certification. Nor does it prevent the PSU from being certified. Now the mechanical changes to the GPU 16-pin cable. The designation of 12V HPWR has been changed to 12V 2x6, and the pin length of the socket on the board side, i.e. the graphics card, has been adjusted to enhance electrical safety of the board. Specifically, this new design offers longer socket terminals for better conductivity. Additional electrical contact means less current loss to heat. Shorter sense pins allowing the GPU to power down immediately if the connection is compromised. This change addresses issues seen with the 12V HPWR connector that previously caused melting, particularly on the GPU side. The 12V 2x6 versus the 12V HPWR connectors only differ in their socket connection design, while the module cable wiring itself remains identical.